Welcome to Brady Street Stadium. Tonight we have the matchup between North Scott Lancers and the Assumption Knights. North Scott comes in three and three on a three game losing streak. North, the Assumption Knights are four and two. North Scott is hoping to keep their playoff playoff hopes alive tonight. So here we go, Brian, take the kick. Ryan Byrne and Tommy Argo deep for the Knights. That one looks as if it's kicked directly out of the 20 yard line. And that's gonna set North Scott up at around the 40 yard line. Uh, just as Jess said, North Knights come in with a record of four and two. North Scott comes in with a three of three. Uh, North Scott has played some tough opponents in the MAC Conference with a three and three record. They have lost three games in a row, but it was not due to lack of effort. Uh, Wade King's crew comes in at four and two. This is gonna be an excellent matchup here in the MAC Conference week seven. Both teams vying for playoff possibilities. This is a crucial matchup here on Thursday night. Well, we got much better weather than we had last week. Yeah, that's true. Tonight, even though it is a 49 degree game time temperature, it's much better than the 30s and drizzly and windy as we did last Friday night. Assumption starts off, hand the ball off the middle. Nice little run there for Ryan Byrne. Three yard pickup on first and 10, first play from the Knights. Tyler Blundell. Tyler Blundell was on the tackle there for North Scott. North Scott, uh, pretty rugged defensive group. Starts out trying to keep the last week. They were uh, defeated 6-3 against uh, the Burlington Greyhounds. Kicker's duel, pitcher's duel, whatever you want. It was a tough defensive matchup, and they're going to try to play the same tough defense against the uh, Assumption Knights tonight, a homecoming night for Assumption. Again, that was Byrne with a handoff. Picks up two. Going to set up a third and three and a half. And Tyler Blondell made the tackle again that time. First two plays from scrimmage. Blondell in on two tackles. Third and right around three yards at the 42 yard line of Assumption. First drive of the ball game. 11 minutes left, first quarter of play. Tom Carroll, the bottom side of your screen. Assumption is shotgun formation. Gets rid of it, that one uh, falls incomplete. A tip by Alex Rankin. Almost intercepted by Alex Rankin. Near interception is going to set up a punting situation, my guess is, for the Assumption Knights. On to kick for Assumption is uh, Dan Tomshaw, number six. Also a place kicker for Assumption. Dan Tomshaw on to punt for the Knights. Back deep for North Scott, number 32, Aaron Huber. And also Alex Rankin, who was in on the tip pass just a second ago. Thomas Shaw's oh, kick is off. There's a flag on the field. My guess is roughing the kicker, which would give Assumption a first down. I don't know how he didn't block that kick. <laughs> he was right there, right next to right next to his foot. Missed the block opportunity and gonna cost his team a chance on offense. Yeah, just when North Scott have made a stop defensively, they they get a penalty like that. And that's gonna be the, the 15 yard variety. It's gonna move the ball all the way to the North Scott 43 yard line. Keeps the drive alive for Assumption. After the penalty, first and 10 nights from the North Scott 43. Don't wanna give a team like Assumption a second chance. That puts keeps their offense on the field. Two wide receivers bottom side of the screen. Ryan Langford and Tom Carroll. Dolbeck under center. Hands off, fullback die, picks up a few. The ball Run by Zach Mom looks as if the tackle was uh, Ronnie France. Also, Jeremiah Clark, Ronnie Francis, the first man to take the ball carrier down. The kind of a slow start, Jess. What do you think? I think it's going to get cold here before the night gets over. I think that's a pretty safe assumption. Run play around in. Oh, nice stop by North Scott. Ryan Langford, the ball carrier. Langford on the run, and gets barely back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to set up a sec third and seven. On the tackle was uh, Dane Mickelson, Chris Seitz, 
and uh, Jake Mirfield. They were all on the tackle. Excellent job of containment by the Lancers and set up a third and seven passing situation by the Assumption Knights. Bottom side of the screen, Tom Carroll, top side, uh, number 27, Ryan Langford. Oh, that's going to be a penalty on Assumption. Legal procedure back on five yards. Instead of a third and long. <laughs> now, now they really have third and long. Sure. This is a family ties production. I'm Brian Medina on the camera. Jess Medina also doing a little color by color commentary. Jess Medina. Be third and thirteen. Third and thirteen. And it drops back to pass. Gets rid of it. Finds his man. Nice little pass and catch. Joe Daniel picks up about 19 yards on that third and 13. And that's going to be another first down for the Assumption Knights. Well, that was a nice, nice pass. Great catch by number 85. Yeah, that was Joe Daniel out there tied in for uh, the Assumption Knights. Excellent play call on that third and long. And that's going to keep the Assumption offense on the field. Ball spotted down on the 28 yard line. Dolbeck again in shotgun. Burn in motion. Dolbeck on the option. Ball's loose. Zach Mump first one in on the play. Boy, that was close for assumption. Looked like Dolbeck was better off keeping himself rather than put, trying to pitch the ball last second. Nevertheless, Assumption re recovers, hits up a second and 12 on the loss of two. 8.25 left first quarter, Assumption's driving. Eighth play of the drive. Hands off to Mum. Break, breaks a couple tackles, moves out to the 25 yard line. Dane Mickelson was on the on the tackle. But Sumption has the ball, the 25 yard line. Aaron Thomashaw's range field goal kicker for the Sumption Knights. No more yards. That would be a 42 yard attempt from Sumption. A strong legged kicker from Sumption. Dan Thomashaw likes to see his team get a touchdown, possibly go for a PAT rather than a 40 some yard field goal attempt. Burn in motion. Dobek rolls around. Throws over the head, and was intercepted by Alex Rankin. Caught the ball around the five, moves all the way to the, his own 18 yard line. And that's Assumption's first turn on the game. That was Jeremiah Clark on the interception. 7.30 left, first quarter. Assumption makes the first turn over the ball game. Seven minutes, 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. And we've got a penalty on Assumption. It'll be offsides. Doesn't look as Assumption's all that focused tonight being homecoming. I think they're a little excited for more than just the football game on Thursday night. I think they're thinking more about their uh, homecoming plans, Jess. But it is first quarter, and they probably can shake the jitters off here pretty soon. This is a big game here for North Scott and Assumption, both with uh, them having three and four wins. Both teams needing to win. Try to get to that five, six win mark, getting themselves in the playoffs. North Scott, in pistol formation, and man in motion is Jacob Murfield. Hands off first man through, Aaron Huber. Aaron Huber, the ball carrier. Number 53 was on the tackle for Assumption. Uh, Sam Gervasi, 6'3", 225-pound senior. Big yardage for North Scott that time. Yeah, it was a nice run. Nice dive play. Again, North Scott comes out, pistol formation. Serve it. Travis Anderson. Travis Anderson in the reception. Nice little five-yard pickup by North Scott, and that's going to be a first down. 
North Scott keeps the ball rolling. 6.51 left first quarter. First and 10 lances from the road 32. Some of the key people for North Scott will be obviously Monty, uh, Travis Anderson, Alex Rankin, Jake Murfield, and uh, Hugh, was it Huber? Yeah, that's the tailback for North Scott. Monty, Monty on the keeper. He's going to be real close to another North Scott first down. And it is another first and 10. North Scott moves the ball all the way down to the 44 yard line. Three plays, and North Scott's moved the ball pretty well, Jess. Well, that, that was just good ball handling by Cody Monty. Yeah, like Monty's got a lot of confidence. An excellent quarterback for the uh, North Scott Lancers. Alex Rankin comes in with the play. He's a wide right. Bottom side of the screen. Monty again gets rid of it. Oh, nice catch. That was Travis awesome. Anderson. Nice completion to Travis Anderson. Picks up roughly seven, eight yards on that first and ten. North Scott's throwing the ball, throwing, throwing the ball very well and running the ball very effectively. Four plays and they've moved the ball into assumption territory. <laughs> Coach Kevin Tippett has to be very excited the way his North Scott Lancers have begun the game here in Thursday night, week seven of the MAC Conference. Monty, Monty. on the keeper. Quarterback on the keeper brought down by Joe Daniel. Brian, that that is just great. That is just great ball handling by Monty. He he kept it in there. He kept it in there, and then he took it back on the play. That was a nice ball fake. Ranking again with the play, and from Coach Kevin Tippett. North Sky is riding a three-game losing streak. This doesn't look like a team that is three and three or. Riding a three game losing streak. Huber on the dive up the middle, who's all the way to the 25, the 20, 15, 10, 5. He's in for touchdown. 43 yard touchdown from scrimmage. 5.09 left first quarter. North Scott strikes first. Huber broke a couple tackles right there at the line of scrimmage. And yes, he did. Made once he got past the line of scrimmage, he was gone. The Assumption sidelines looks pretty shocked. Didn't expect North Scott to move the ball up the, the way they did up that first drive of the game. Snaps off, holds good, and is the kick. And with 5.09 left first quarter of play, North Scott seven, Assumption zero. On the kick for North Scott's Harrington. Kicks this one deep to burn, or sees around the five yard line, moves the ball out to the 15. Got a wall of blockers, moves the ball right around to the 24 yard line. Nice little 20 yard return. It's a nice drive there by North Scott. Pretty good run back actually for, uh, for Assumption. I mean, they got at the 25 yard line. It's not too bad there. They'll start their second possession, first and 10 on their own 25. Assumption on the field for the second time. First drive resulted in a turnover interception at the hands of the Lancers. Dobek under center. Hands off to Byrne. Got a wall of blockers. Byrne the ball carrier. Pretty good run by Byrne. Yeah, it was a nice tackle there by Tyler Blondell. Again, another tackle for the Lancers. Jeremiah Clark. And Jeremiah Clark also in on the tackle. Seven on the play. After the North Scott's first drive, move the ball very effectively, puts themselves up 7-0. My guess is that will not be the last touchdown score in this one. Might see a high scoring offensive affair. Coach Wade King and Kevin Tippett's crews tonight. Dobick in shock and formation. Hands off to Byrne. Byrne once again the ball carrier. Picks up maybe two, gonna set up a third and short for the Knights. Gain of two on the play. I'd like okay. to take time to thank the athletic director and head coach for Danport Assumption, Wade King, for allowing us to telecast tonight's ball game. This is a Family Ties Productions. You can find us on the internet at ftpsports.com. 
Dopek under center, hands off first man through. Mom stacked up the line of scrimmage. Gonna be real close to a first down. I think he might be short by the... Well, that was a great defensive play by North Scott. He's gonna be short. He got met by a host of tacklers from uh, North Scott defense. And that's gonna bring on the punt team. Thomas Shaw back for the Assumption Knights, standing around his own 23 yard line. Travis Anderson is deep for the Lancers. Deep for North Scott. Travis Anderson. Snaps off. Thomas Shaw's kick. Decent one. Went out at about the 28 yard line. And that's where North Scott will start. There is a flag on the field. Uh, penalty marker the late play. penalty flag opposite side of where the ball did go out of bounds. Looks like it could be against North Scott. Yes, it, it's against North Scott. Personal foul, back him up 15 yards. They had decent field position after that Tom Shaw punt. That's going to knock him deep in their own territory. They did have a first drive of 82 yards, so they moved the ball very effectively. That's not what they wanted to do after that solid defensive stop. Two fifty-eight left. First now let's quarter. see what North Scott can do here deep, deep in their own territory. Hands off to Huber, dive play, picks up maybe a yard. Huber, the ball carrier. Gervas tripped him up in the backfield. Nice tackle there by Sam Gervas. Kept it pretty simple on that first that first play from scrimmage. We want to remind the fans that our website, ftpsports.com, is now up. So check check our website out. It is up. It only took us seven weeks to complete it. Ball spotted at the 15-yard line. Murfield in motion. Hand off to Huber. Makes a nice move. Moves it out to the 26-yard line. That's going to be another North Scott first down. Tackle was by number one. Number one for Assumption made the tackle. That was Ryan Byrne, the, also the tailback for Assumption. North Stats moved the ball very effectively against the stout defensive crew from uh, Danport Assumption. Kind of surprised the. Well, you know. <laughs> Huber just doesn't look like the kind of guy that has that kind of speed. Monty on the keeper. Taken down a couple yards deep. Quarterback on the keeper. Ryan Byrne hit him behind the line. Nice tackle by Ryan Byrne. Assumption coming off a victory against of Davenport away. North last week. North Scott fell victim to a defensive battle, 6-3, two field goals to one. Monty again, pistol formation. Keeps Gonna be it. pass. Got a man across the middle. A nice completion to Austin Schwartz. Moves the ball real close to so another North Scott first down. Gonna set up a third and one at the 35. That was Austin Schwartz. Austin Schwartz on the catch. Yes, it was. That was a nice play call on the third and 12, or second and 12. Third and one for North Scott. What do you think they're going to do, Jess? Pass the ball, run the ball? Give it to Monty. Let, let Monty do what, he, do what he does best. And pitches Gives out to Huber. to Huber. Moves the ball to the 40 and to the 43 where he stops dead. We need another North Scott first down. Nice little seven-yard pickup. And with 19.9 left first quarter of play, my guess is that was probably last play of the first quarter. Good quarter by North Scott. 
But like I said, let him do what he does best. <laughs> Hand it off to Huber. Huber's the guy who went for the touchdown. Do what he does best. Give it to the guy who scores a 43-yard touchdown. I think this is going to be the end of the first quarter. And it will be. And after one quarter of play, first quarter score, North Scott seven, Danport Assumption on homecoming night, zero. <laughs> Start of the second quarter. Monty drops back to pass, gets rid of it deep. He's got Anderson uh, wide open. Throws that one deep to Anderson, moves the ball, bottom to the 25 yard line, hand him wide open, beat two defenders. I think he almost actually underthrew him on that one. Uh, I feel sorry for him. He had that right in his hands. Just dropped it. I'm surprised North Scott was limited to just three points last week, Jess. <laughs> Offense like this, they got. Five first downs first quarter, and the team only scored three points last week against uh, Burlington's defense. Monty again on the option, keeps it. Picks up maybe a half a yard. Going to set up a third and nine for North Scott. Gain of one on the play. And this is the Family Ties Productions. I'm Brian Medina, Jess Medina on the camera. If you're interested in purchasing a DVD of tonight's game, you can uh, reach us at ftpsports.com or family.ftpsports at gmail.com. Appreciate your patronage. Monty again on the keeper. Nothing doing on that third and long. Monty on the keeper, There was a whole host of Assumption Knights there to stop him. North Scott didn't really fool anybody on that one. Sets up fourth and ten. Fourth and ten. Back deep for the Knights is uh, 37 Kilfoy and number one Ryan Byrne. Deep for North Scott, Austin Miller. Strolling onto the field is Jake DeFreeze. Miller's punts off. Kilfoy underneath it gets popped oh. immediately. Kilfoy on the catch and return. That was a hit. <laughs> Get immediately by Jacob Murfield. Popped up really quick though. Must not have must not have felt his body's too numb to take any kind of pain on the night. Assumption gets started at their own 32. Dobek brings the guys to the line immediately. Hands out first man through, Mum. Picks up about eight yards. Stack Mum the ball carrier. Tackle was by number 27, Austin Schwartz. Schwartz in on the tackle, that's about the third tackle he's been on in the first half. I don't think you want your defensive backs making tackles, though. I just think we want your linemen and linebackers moving in on the play. Assumption again, hurries the line of scrimmage. Man in motion. Nice little run play, breaks a couple tackles. Ryan Lankford picks up a Assumption first down, moves the ball into North Scott territory, right along the 46 yard line. That's two good runs in a row by Assumption. Yeah, that was a nice little 14 yard pickup there in that second out play. First and 10 North Scott 46. 9.30 left first half. Assumption's moving the ball into North Scott territory. Dobek hands off to Byrne. Again, Ryan Byrne breaks a couple tackles even. Flag in late. All over the field. Three flags laying on the field. That'll be a late hit. Personal foul, 15 yard penalty. Personal foul on the 
Another first down moves the ball deep into North Scott territory again. Assumption trying to even this one up. Trailing 7-0, 9-16 left first half. Ball will be spotted right around the 23-yard line. Assumption's, Assumption's putting together a pretty good drive here. Dobik under center. Langford in motion, Mum with a hand out of the middle, picks up possibly three yards right around the 20. 43 was the ball carrier. What happened with North Scott last week, Jess? What happened with North Scott last week? Well, they lost to Burlington six to three. It was windy, rainy, and uh, ball was real slippery. The only scoring was three field goals. Dobek drive backs to pass. Ball's tipped and intercepted. With a nice play by Jacob Murfield. Jake Murfield. That's the second pick of the night for North Scott. Yeah, the second pick. North Scott tightened up when they got deep in their own territory. Boy, just, just when you thought Assumption had figured out the North Scott defense, they make an interception. North Scott's bend but don't break defense. Picks the ball off again, deep in their own territory. Second turnover, second in their own territory. Ball's going to be spotted down around the 29-yard line of North Scott. Monty brings his potent offense back on the field. Pistol formation. Alex Rankin, bottom side of the screen. Hands off to Huber. No, on the keeper. Picks up five yards on that first down keeper. Nice ball fake by Monty. Monty is just an excellent ball handler. Now he's a fantastic high school quarterback. Pass ball well. Good on his feet. Sells the ball fake. Anderson bottom side of the screen. Monty pitches out. Tyler Blondell breaks a couple tackles. That's going to be real close to another North Scott. Tyler first Blondell. Down. Tyler Blondell on the carry. Blondell the ball carrier. And Blondell picks up another first down for North Scott. I think Blondell usually plays defense. I don't, don't remember him carrying the ball very much. And he ran the ball just like a linebacker, right into a couple defensive players, knocked them over, and picked up a first down. Monty hands off first man through. Aaron Huber picks up a couple yards in that Huber first down carrier. dive play. A 27, 27 and 53 were the uh, tacklers for assumption. Ryan Langford and Sam Gervasi. Norris Scott comes out again, pistol formation. Second and seven. Just off the fingertips. It's been a nice play if you would have caught it. Had a wide open field on the sideline. Bring up third down and eight. That's going to set up a third and eight. Third and, third and eight for uh, North Scott. Ball right around midfield. Scott brings out three receivers. Mitch White, bottom side of the screen. Monty back to pass. Looking for Anderson. That one's tipped and incomplete. Broken up by Tom Carroll. Tom Carroll, the coverage for the Knights. That's going to bring on North Scott's punt team. Back deep for assumption. Kill Foy and Burn. Well, he tried to thread thread the needle that time. 
Yeah, he tried to throw in a triple coverage on that one. They learned to punt. Kick is off into the wind. That one rolls dead on the 35 yard line. 6.29 left in the first half. North Scott seven. Yeah, poor assumption zero. Well, Brian, you think it's getting any warmer out here tonight? No. It's getting windier and it's getting colder. Wish I'd have brought my parka. It's all right, I'm having fun. It's football weather, right? The way it's supposed to be? Bear weather. Bear weather. Burn on the handoff, picks up a couple. Burn the ball carrier. Bryce Sellers, the first to hit it for North Scott. Sellers on the tackle. Here we are at Brady Street Stadium, home of the Danport Community Schools, also home to Danport Assumption. Playing on the field turf here at Brady Street, on the fast track at Brady Street. Dolbeck again under center. They got two wideouts, but they're going to run it up the middle. Hands out to Mom right at the middle. Dive play picks up Mom, right player. around four yards. Going to set up a third and three, third and four. Halfway point, second quarter. Bring up third down and three. Kind of a big game for North Scott, being three and three, Jess. Right. But I've been told they can still get in at four and five, but you know, you'd rather get some wins. Burn in motion. Gets the handoff right around end. Moves ball 40, 45, moves ball fit field. And the North Scott territory ball be spotted down around the 45 yard line. Nice little 13 yard pickup there. Five oh two left first half. Assumption driving trying to get back in the ball game, holding down a touchdown. You know, North Scott is actually is three they are three and three, but they could have easily won two of two of the three games they lost. And North Scott's three and three and from top to bottom, the MAC conference is one of the better conferences in the state of Iowa. No gimme games in this conference. Byrne gets around in, breaks the tackle, moves down to the 31. That's going to be another assumption first down. Byrne gets that ball, runs with a full head of steam. Well, Hard well, slowing him down. Well, once again, it looks like assumption figures out North Scott's defense, but let's see if they can finish it. Yeah, then they get deep in North Scott territory and turn the ball over. I'm sure Wade King's crew will probably come up with something different. Pretty confident North Scott. Gonna try to play defense pretty tough again. See if they can't get another turnover in their territory. Dobeck under center. Hands out to 27. Ryan Langford. The ball Ryan Langford. Chris Seitz was on the tackle. Also Nagel and Murphy on the on the stop there. Up Picks up four, gonna set up a second and six for the Knights. Dobek under center. Hands off again to Burn. Oh, nice Stocked tackle by number five. Nice play by Adam Murphy. Adam Murphy on the tackle in the backfield. Loss of a couple and a set of a third and eight. That was a big play here with three minutes and some change left in the first half. North Scott does start with the ball in the second half, so I don't think Sumption wants to come away without any points here. North Scott having an opportunity first in the second half. About three minutes to go, and I don't know, do you think this is 
four down territory for assumption. I don't know. They got a solid kicker. I think they might be in his range. Saw him kicking from around the 40 before the game started. Dobik on the rollout. Finds his man. Touchdown. Touchdown. Assumption. Joe Daniel on a 31 yard touchdown pass from Andrew Dobik. Nice little 31 yard pass in the rollout. Thomas all in to, to tie the ball game. 242 left in the first half. Assumption finally strikes. Dobek on for the hole. Snaps off, holds good. No, oh, fakes it. That one's a knockdown, incomplete. Extra point is no good. Seven, that might be a critical play in the outcome of this one. 242 left, first half, North Scott seven, Assumption six. On to kick for Assumption, a trailing six seven with Dan Tomashaw. What do you think, Bryce? Short kick, squib kick, or do you think he'll kick it away? I think he'll kick it deep. Tomashaw's got a pretty big leg. I'm sure he's going to get it. Real close to the end, so he does have the wind behind his back. Pretty good breeze, actually, looking at the field goal post. Tomashaw's kicks off. That one's deep to Huber over his head. That's going to be a touchback. Yeah, Tomashaw had the wind behind his back. I was pretty sure he's going to kick it deep, seeing he can't get North Scott started around their own 20 on the touchback. Well, with 2.42 left and a few timeouts, I think North Scott's got an opportunity to get some points here before the end of the first half. Well, I think maybe I'd let, let Huber try to run for it, see how much he could go. He picks up some yardage, and you, you let Monty run with it, maybe throw it to Travis Anderson or Alex Rankin. Only time will tell, Jess. We'll see. Yeah, receivers all over the place. Three receivers, bottom side of the screen, Monty pistol formation, Murfield in motion. Hands off to Huber. Breaks a couple tackles, moves the ball to the 30. That's gonna be another Huber, North Scott here. first down. Did I call that? Brendan Elizondo and Palmer Foster on the staff. I think I called Huber, didn't I? You called Huber, called the nice little run play. Monty pistol formation, no huddle offense. Drops back to pass. Gets rid of it across the middle. Real That's close. Travis Anderson. Anderson real close to another North Scott first down. Nice wrap up by Tim Kilfoy. Well, two of the three plays that we just talked about that I called have happened. What's gonna happen next? Houdini or? The next one was, um, I think Rankin. No, Monty. Oh. Huber the ball carrier. Huber on the ball. On the die play, picks up about six yards. It's gonna set up a second and four. Under two minutes to go. Plenty of time. Lots of time, three minutes left. No, three timeouts left for uh, North Scott. We got a timeout. 143 left first half. Timeout assumption. Norris got back onto the field. Monty hands off to Huber. Real close to another North Scott first down. Nice play by Slope. We're real close to a North Scott first down. Might bring out the chain gang. Going to call for a measurement. I'm going to say he's a little bit short. And oh, it's going to be close. Uh, you were wrong. Oh, you were right. First oh, down. First down. <laughs> I can't call them all. 
guess everybody gets lucky every once in a while. Well, you know, it, di it did look like it was going to be short until they pulled that chain. I think you need to go to the eye doctor. 128 left first half. North Scott driving into Danforth Assumption territory. Monty pitches out to Huber. Picks up about six, seven yards. Here in Huber, the ball carrier. 115 left and uh, three timeouts. Kevin Tippett gets rank in the play call. North Scott breaks the huddle in a hurry. Anderson top side of the screen. Man to watch out for offensively for the North Scott Lancers. I think he's got a pass. Looks for Anderson. Had him on the slant. Off his hands, incomplete. Clock stops with 51.4 left in the first half. I think you heard footsteps, Jess. Well, it's third and two. If you do the run, you stop the clock, you set it up, you know, you give yourself some time. I mean, you need to pick up the first down. Monty hands off to Huber. Breaks a couple tackles and is gonna pick up another Huber, North Scott first down. down. North Scott picks up their 10 first down on that dive play. 47.2 left. Uh, there's a North Scott calls North Scott. a timeout. Right, 47.2 left first half. North Scott driving. Ball spotted right around the 35 yard line. Assumption. Big drive here for the end of the first half. Monty on the screenplay to Huber. Set up pretty nice. Moves ball 30, 25. Breaks a couple tackles and gets real close to another North Scott first down. It's another North Scott first down, Jess. 36.9 left first half. North Scott's moving the ball pretty effectively here right before halftime, trying to get some points on the board. And North Scott pistol formation. 25 seconds left, first half. Monty back to pass. Throws out to Anderson. Well, I think he turned the wrong way. He was, he was expecting it to go to the left. Went left, should have gone right. To the right. Travis Anderson is the intended receiver. Tom Carroll, the coverage for the night. Eighteen point four left first half of play. Are they in field goal range? I don't think they want a field goal. I think I think their choices are to go to the end zone or to get a first down and stop the clock. Monty drives back to pass, gets rid of it. Where's oh should be a penalty, but there's not gonna be one. Not going to be one call. Pass was intended for Austin Shorts. Well, I mean, just. I think that was a legal play. Bring up third I'm not going to question the refs, but it looked like he, he kind of got a low hit before the ball. The ball got there, but no call. No blood, no foul. Pistol formation, Monty. Again, the signal caller for North Scott drops back to pass. Rolls around. Throws it deep into the end zone. That one's intercepted at the goal line. Intercepted, Tim Kilfoy. Tim Kilfoy played center field underneath that wounded duck. Caught it right around the goal line. 3.1 left in the first half. All Sumption's gonna have to do is, I can't really take a knee. Probably I gotta run a little dive play right before the end of half to kill the clock. Well, they, but they were going for the end zone. I think it's warming up, Jess. The game is warming it's gonna up. It's going to be a hot second half. I think it might be a hot cocoa night. Dolbeck hands off. To Mum on the diet play. 
And after 24 minutes of, of play, score at halftime is gonna be North Scott seven, Davenport Assumption Knights six. on the kick for Assumption. Assumption trails 7-6 at half. Assumption score with 242 pass to Joe Daniel. 31-yard touchdown strike from Andrew Dobick. Was unable to get the point after. Had a muffed attempt. And scoring touchdown from uh, North Scott was Aaron Huber. What do you think about the first half, Jess? Well, I, I think it was well played by both teams for the most part. Assumption had two interceptions. But now it's started to rain. That rain might slow down both offenses here in the second half. 7-6, halftime score. Anderson on the return. Moves ball to 25-30, 35, he's got the kicker to beat. He's at midfield. Got Huber in front of him. Moves the ball all the way down to the 17-yard line of Assumption on the opening kickoff of the second half. Nice way to start the second half, wow, Jess. Travis Anderson, what a run back. How many yards was that, Brian? Do you, you know where he started? He started right around his own five, so 80, 78 yard return. Assumption comes out, pistol formation. Rankin bottom side of the screen. Hands off. Huber. To Hands off to Huber, picks up about five yards on that dive play. Jordan Sinclair and Ryan Lankford on the stop on the Knights. 11.30 left, third quarter. North Scott on the field deep into assumption territory, starts the second half. Boy, five on the play. Boy a run back like, like North Scott just had could really pump you up. I think it's definitely gonna be an interesting second half. Pitch out to Huber, picks up a few, gets it down to around the four. Gonna be another North Scott first down. Gonna set up a first and goal. First down and goal for North Scott. You know, Huber, Huber really does not have much speed, but he has that burst to get him past the first, the first line of defense. Yeah, he waits for his blockers, finds a spot, hits the hole hard. Finds his way upfield. He's definitely a good running back. Junior from North Scott. Murfield's right, they got trips left. Monty again, pistol formation. Throws it out, finds his man. Real close to the end zone, that's gonna be a North Scott right touchdown. North touchdown, Austin Schwarz. They set that play up pretty well. A little wide receiver screen to the bottom side of the screen. 10.40 left, third quarter play. North Scott moves ahead at 13 to 6. Aaron Schwartz on the touchdown. Start the second half pretty quick. Rain's starting to come down a little harder. Wind's starting to pick up. It's definitely not getting any warmer here. Miller on for the PAT attempt. Snaps off. Blocked and up and through the uprights. And with 10.40 left, third quarter play, North Scott 14, Assumption Knights 6. That was Schwarz on the touchdown, set up by the nice return by Travis Anderson. On to kick, David Harrington. It's Assumption on the line of scrimmage uh, on the kick. Looks to, and North Scott recovers. I bet that was an accident. You think so? I don't I don't think he meant to do that. Hit one of the guys up on the front line. And wow. What a, a quick turn of events here to start the second half. 
Yeah, that would have been nice as a field position for Assumption, but North Scott's going to take over in Assumption territory. Again, pistol formation trips bottom side of the screen. Same way they scored a touchdown again to Schwarz. Pipe it off dropping that one anyways because he's going to lose yardage. He wasn't going to go anywhere. Let's see if Assumption's defense can't tighten up. Well, with a little bit of rain that we have, though, the passing might be a little bit harder for Monty. Monty again, the pistol. Hands off right up the middle, a little die play. Huber picks up a few yards, going to set up a third and seven for the Lancers. 77 and one were on the tackle. Yeah, it was a nice tackle by Ryan Byrne and uh, Travis Talbot. Gain of four, bring up third down and six. Hustling in with the play calls, Tyler, Tyler Blondell. Tyler Blondell comes in with the play, and I think we're going to have a timeout. Time on Lancers. Time on North Scott. Third down and six. North Scott back out, third and six for the Lancers. Monty rolls. Looks like he found Murfield. Moves ball right around to the 30 yard line of Assumption. Jake Murfield Jake on the Jake catch. On the reception and a first down. That is correct. Jess Murfield on the reception. 9.52 left, third quarter. Lancers are driving. Scott just picked up their 14th see if first down. Can make the defensive play here. This on this drive. Merrifield motion. Hands off to Huber. Makes a nice move. Picks up right around seven yeah. yards on that first down carry. Elizondo and Kilfoy on the stop. Kilfoy and Elizondo on the stop. And six on the play. You think they meant to do that onside kick, Jeff? Jess? Think they meant for that onside kick? I don't think it was. No. I think he slipped. We'll ask the coaches. Monty pistol formation. Merrifield motion. On the keeper. Monty. Draw 25 20. Moves the ball all the way down to the 10 yard line of the Assumption Knights. Nice little 14 yard pickup. A 14 and a first down. 8.45 left. Third quarter, Assumption about to give up their second touchdown of the second half already. Well, Assumption's defense is going to really have to stiffen up here if, if they want to stay in the ball game. Let's and see what they can do. Trips by outside the screen. They've gone to Suarez on this one a couple times. Huber on the dive play, picks up a couple. 77 and 65 were on the tackle. Yeah, that was uh, Travis Talbot and Swope on the tackle. They showed that same trip to the bottom side of the screen on that one like they did for the touchdown to Schwartz. But again, they went with the dive play, tried to throw Assumption off on that one. Tyler Blundell comes into the game. He hands off to Huber, breaks the tackle, gets real close to the end zone. Touchdown! That's a North Scott North touchdown. Scott. Huber in from seven yards out. Seven forty-two left, third quarter. North Scott moves ahead, twenty to six. This game, this, this game that was close has turned real fast. Yeah, the first four minutes and 18 seconds of the second half has been all North Scott. And it snaps off, holds good, laces out, and the kick is good. North Scott moves ahead with 7.42 left third quarter play, 21 to six. Harrington on to kick again for North Scott. The first
first line of uh, returners are made a little bit of space for the kicker that time. That one's kicked out of bounds. Gonna be a little legal procedure. Gonna set the ball. I don't know, 35-yard line of Danport Assumption. Down two scores. Big drive here for the Assumption Knights. Down 21-6, homecoming game. Team for Assumptions, Jamaican My Night. I think they should have gone with uh, maybe an Eskimo type theme. Hand now play to Burn. Moves ball 45, 50, 40, 35 of North Scott. Nice little 30 yard pickup there on that first down play. Nice little 33 yard drive, three yard, three yard run. And Assumption needed that big time. Every time they need to play, they call on their speedy running back, Ryan Byrne. Picked up 33 yards on a just a little dive, play, a little counter play. Again, Assumption I formation. Hands out to Mom up the middle. Picks up about five yards. Score is 21-6, a lot of time left. Assumption far from out of this ball game. Well, There's a man down. An injury on the, an injury on the, on the field. Injured night on that one was Zach Mom. Walked off, walks off the field a little gingerly. I'm sure he'll be back if he has anything to say about it. Burn around the end. Breaks a couple tackles, moves in into the red zone. Well, we got a penalty. I think it's gonna be on North Scott, and I think it's gonna be uh, a fifth, half, half distance, maybe. What, another personal foul? I think so. Not a good, not a good penalty with Sumption's driving. Sumption's put together a pretty decent drive here after giving up 14 points in four minutes to start the second half. Sumption's not going to go away without a fight. Well, this game is far from over. A lot of football left. 19 minutes left in the ball game. Sumption, if Sumption can score here, put themselves back within a touchdown. Burn on the carry, goes right at the middle and gets in for a touchdown. Touchdown, Mike. touchdown Ryan Burn from nine yards out. Just a simple little dive play, pretty much went in untouched from nine yards out. Well, he just got by the line and went right in. We're only, ourselves a ball game. We're only halfway through the third. We already got three touchdowns scored in the Five minutes and 19 seconds. Thomas Shaw is in for the PAT. First attempt was mishandled by the holder. Snaps off, Dobek's hold. And Thomas Shaw's kick is good. And with 6.41 left, third quarter of play, Assumption draws a little bit closer, but North Scott leaves 21 to 13. Amishaw tees it up in the exciting Travis Anderson and uh, Aaron Huber deep for the Lancers. And the, and the assumption crowd is pumped up. Only down eight points. Definitely got a ball game here. Another exciting Thursday night matchup in the MAC Conference. Huber gets this one on the roll. Moves it out to the 20. Flag already on the field. Penalty marker of the play. Official Tony Lassick on the flag. Trots in with this penalty call. Be against North Scott. We get block in the back, half back him up, half the distance. That's where North Scott's gonna take over. With the wind and drizzle in their face. This might block be a this would be a good time for Assumptions defense to step up. 
Well, North Scott has hurt themselves a little bit with two big penalties here. I think they ought to calm down, settle down, and, and see and do what they do best. Score touchdowns. <laughs> Monty again, pistol formation. Murfield in motion. Hands off, first Short man through. Distance. Nothing doing on that dive play. Flag on the field. This is kind of a this is a bad penalty. I think it might be against. Unsportsmanlike against the Knights. Wow. I think the emotions are starting to get a little bit high here for both teams. That's that's the second penalty like that in the last couple plays. Yeah, it's too bad. They had him they had him deep. They're inside the ten yard line. Stopped him first run play, gonna set up a second ten, they get a kind of a boneheaded penalty. With uh six twenty left third quarter. North Scott gets first down at their twenty five yard line. Monty drops back to pass. Gets the ball out to Bippus. I think we're gonna have a penalty on North Scott, a block in the back. Pass complete. However, there is a penalty marker. That's probably about the best place to get a penalty is right in front of the referee. Two plays, no two, play, penalty. two penalties right in front of the ref. I don't know if these kids aren't thinking or what's going on, but I don't know. Boy, how many, we've had what? Four penalties out of the last six plays. That was a nice little screen out there to Zach Bippus, a little receiver screen out there. Had some nice yardage, but penalty drops him back a few yards. Yeah, that's about first and 13, looks like. Monty on the keeper. Not going to get much. Quarterback keeper. Not much. Gets back to around the original line of scrimmage. Dave Gervas on the stop. Maybe a yard. Of one on the play. Second down and 12. 5.50 left in the third quarter. North Scott ball. Rain is starting to pick up. Again, North Scott pistol formation. Murfield motion. Hands this one off to Huber. Nice little 22 yard pickup on that dive play. Monster and Killboy on the stop. Gain of 23. First down. Yeah, Huber's been the workhorse for North Scott tonight. He's really come through when they needed him. And North Scott's moved the ball pretty efficiently with their pass and run game. Monty keeps it. Guess who's got a man wide open. Nice little 14-yard pickup to Mitch White. Mitch White on the reception. Knocked out of bounds by Tom Terrell. Gain a 14 and a first down. North Scott's pretty balanced. They can move the ball with the pass and the run. They both kind of offset each other pretty well. Boy, this is just... <laughs> with, with the kind of score that we had after the first half, it's kind of turned into a shootout now. Yeah, I thought with a 7-6 seven, seven, first half score and then the rain's starting to pick up the way it is, I didn't expect either team to score that many points second half. We're already 21 points deep and North Scott's driving again. Hand off to Huber, picks up maybe two yards. Again, we here is the Family Ties Productions, Brady Street, Davenport Community Schools, Week 7 MAC Conference. North Scott comes in with a 3-3 three three record, riding a three-game losing streak. Davenport Assumption comes in with a 4-2 record.
try not to lose any more ground to the Bednar Bulldogs and Clinton. The team from Clinton, that's undefeated Clinton team. That second down play was out to Rankin. Alex Rankin. Picks up three yards. It's gonna set up a third and four. Probably four down territory with this offense. Bring up third down and four. Well, you know, you have a good ball handler like Monty. Aaron Huber's been able to pick up some yardage. Maybe you give it to Huber right here. Monty again, pistol formation. Keeps it himself. First down. That's another North Scott first down. Quarterback keeper. Bird and helmet on the stop. Gain of seven and a first down. He's a pretty tough guy to take down, Jess. Well, you know, I tell you, you don't know who has the ball because he doesn't take it out till the last second. Monty and keeps Pass. it. Throws it deep to White. Catches it and gets all the way down to the Assumption one yard line. Nice little 27 yard pickup. Had a man wide open up the middle of the field. Seems like every play it's just a different guy. They're calling a different guy's number. Well, what did we just talk about? This turning into a shootout. 2.35 left in the third quarter. North Scott trying to get their third touchdown of this third third quarter. I think they're going to have to call a timeout. Timeout Lancers. Timeout North Scott. North Scott gets back onto the field. A live formation. And off to Huber. Nice tackle there by Kilfoy. And I think the rain's coming down a little bit harder now. This is a big drive to determine the outcome of the ball game. North Scott gets a touchdown. They're move up by two. Two touchdowns here. Ball spotted down around the two-yard line. Just under two minutes left, third quarter. Again, high formation. Monty hands off Huber. to Huber. And he's in for six, 145 left. Touchdown, Aaron Huber. His third score of the game. North Scott moves ahead 27 to 13. Aaron Huber, two yards out. On the kick for North Scott, Austin Miller. Snaps off, holds down, kicks blocked. Ryan Burke got around the end and blocked the extra point. And with 1.45 left, third quarter of play, North Scott pulls ahead to 27 to 13. Harrington on to kick for North Scott. North Scott up 27 13. Aaron Huber scored his third touchdown of the ball game. This kick is squibbed. Assumption falls on it at the 22. Now I've been told that's what North Scott wanted to do on the one play where they recovered the fumble. The, the ball hit somebody, came back, and they recovered it. That, that, that is what they wanted to do. Yeah, the kicker must have had a rabbit's foot stuck up his butt on that one. Uh, Assumption comes out, shotgun formation, burn in motion, gets the handoff. Breaks a couple tackles, moves out to around the 
yard line. Tackle by Alex Rankin. The two number ones. The one for Assumption, one for North Scott. Yeah, it was Ryan Byrne on the run. Got it on the end. Picked up right around six yards on that one. Again, another critical drive here for Assumption. Down two scores. Wind at their back. Nice play. Tip by number 35, Chris Seitz. That's going to set up a third and fourth. Kind of a big down here. Wind starting to pick up. Did you did you see uh, who uh, blocked that pass, knocked it away? Chris Seitz, 35 from North Scott. Just under a minute left to play in the third. A little handoff, a little dive play to Ryan Langford, real close to an assumption first down. Langford, the ball carrier. 45 mm -hmm. seconds left no. in the third. Not where they mark it, it's not close. About third, about a half a yard, I think. Wade King down two scores. This might be a situation where he might want to go for a. They're going to measure. Go for the fourth down play. And in this kind of game, I don't, I don't blame the coach for asking for a measurement. It's real close. I think he's probably going to keep his offense on the field. I think they're a little short. I think you might just want to give the ball to Ryan Burns, see what he can't do up the middle. Down two scores, they've given up 20 points here to North Scott in the third quarter. I think this might be a situation. You know uh, what? Punt team is on. Don't be fooled if they don't. It's a it's a fake play here. Travis Anderson deep on the punt. I'm gonna say it's a fake play. They're gonna go for it. Snaps off. Wrong. Kick is a good one. Number 37 downs it. Tim Kilfoy. I don't know. I think. <laughs> Winners. I thought they might have. They might have won for it. I don't know. They haven't had too much luck stopping uh, North Scott's offense. But if you turn the ball over there, the game is pretty much over. They only have to go about 20, 30 yards to score a touchdown. So. Yeah, but on the other hand, if North Scott scores here, it's over. They're down three touchdowns. I think you needed to give yourself some momentum. Pistol formation. Hands off to Huber. Huber up the middle. Picks up about six down. yards on the last play of the third quarter. I think Kevin Tippett's probably going to be pretty happy with the play his team has played here and through three quarters, quarters of play. And as the third quarter clock ticks to an end, North Scott, 27. Davenport Assumption, 13. Fourth quarter starts. Pass tipped. Pass intended for Alex Rankin. That's going to set up a third and three for North Scott. Sumption needs to get the ball back. Down two scores. Still plenty of time left. Sumption is going to have to go into the win now. Down two touchdowns. Fourth quarter just getting underway. Big third and three at their own 41. North Scott trying to keep the ball away from Assumption. Chew up a little more time. Hands off to Huber, wide open lane. Huber on the dive play. Huber on the run. Picks up about 18 yards on that dive play. Gets another North Scott first down. They just can't stop Huber. They're having a lot of problems stopping North Scott's offense. I gotta tell you, he's a heck of a basketball player too. 
Plays basketball too? Yep. Oh, they got him behind the line. Just as you were blowing up his ego, he got blown up in the backfield, <laughs> loses a yard. He has second and 11 for North Scott. Langford and Matson on the stop. Here, long second down. I think this is a, another, another big defensive uh, opportunity for the Assumption Knights. Oh, somebody's out of position. Anderson, Travis Anderson in motion. Too many men on the field, I'm guessing. Somebody wasn't supposed to be in the game. Nope. Oh! An encroachment? Offside Offside's line. assumption. <laughs> it was the last thing I expected on that one. Guys <laughs> running 100 miles off the field. <laughs> they call it a flag on an assumption. Well, after that big defensive play, they lose five yards on the penalty. It's going to be a yeah. uh, second and six for North Scott. Rankin is left. Travis Anderson is right. Murfield motion. Monty rolls out, gets rid of it. Body's passing complete. Murfield. Murfield probably made a great defensive play. He didn't even know it. It was a man from Assumption. It was there waiting for the interception. Tipped the pass. It's going to set up a third and six. 10.33 left, third quarter, fourth quarter, excuse me. Assumption needs to tighten up the bolts, get the ball back. Down two scores. Well, Merrifield runs, he's pretty tall. He, another basketball player. I think we're going to have a timeout here. 10.33 left, timeout North Scott. Monty breaks the huddle. Pistol formation drops back to pass. Sets up a screen to Huber. Huber's got a wall of blockers. Gets another North Scott first down. Tim Kill find the stop. Nice little 12 yard pickup for North Scott. And they keep the ball moving in their positive direction. I'm going to age myself here. And the coach over there, Muscatine, is probably going to get laugh at me. but. Aaron Huber kind of reminds me of an old Rocky Blyer. I don't even know. A who, young Rocky Blyer. I don't know who Rocky Blyer is. Huber met in the backfield. Ryan Langford behind the line. Who's Rocky Blyer? Chess. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers. All I know from, I know Franco Harris. Franco Harris played for Pittsburgh, didn't he? Okay, the thing about Rocky Blyer, coach, tell me if I'm right. Notre Dame served in the military, played played professional football with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Hall, Hall of Famer. Monty pitches out. Fumble. Ball's loose. Assumption has it. Assumption's all over it. Turnover, North Scott. See if that changes the momentum of the ball game. Danport Assumption down two scores. 9.23 left in the ball game. No Going to need to get a lot of points in a hurry here. That was Tyler Blondell got the pitch from his quarterback. Fumbled. North Scott was driving the ball pretty well, keeping the ball away from the Assumption offense. Now Assumption breaks the huddle. Dolbeck under center. His handoff is the burn. Picks up a few yards. Ryan Burr, the ball carrier. Well, if Assumption wants to get back in this game, they're going to have to have uh, break off a few long runs, maybe get a few uh, a screen pass, get some yardage, get a few yaks, yards after catch, and and uh, score pretty quick. Yeah, cause your football knowledge amazes me. Nine minutes left, fourth quarter. Dobek back to pass. Gets rid of it, got a man wide open. 
Oh, an excellent catch there by Ryan Langford. Tipped it to himself. Ryan Langford on the reception. Picks up a first down for the Knights. I tell you, that was a pretty athletic, juggly, <laughs> juggly kind of catch I've ever seen. But he caught it and stayed in bounds. And yeah, the bad thing is, if he would have caught him in, while he was uh, wide open, Pike could have got an extra 10 yards on that one. He had nobody in front of him for a good 10 to 15 yards. Unless it is an assumption first down, stop the clock, getting out of bounds. 8.39 left in the fourth quarter. Langford in motion. Dobek rolls again. around end. Goes, he's got a man. Oh, tips. Oh! That was a heck of a catch by Tom Carroll. That ball was tipped at the line. 15-yard pickup on the completion. Sumption picks up a first down. They're 10th of the ball game. Sometimes you'd rather be lucky than good. And they were lucky that time. It got, it got tipped and their own man caught it. And it's a first down for the Assumption Knights. It is a first down. One of the few bounces that have gone in the way of the Knights in this homecoming game for Assumption. I formation. Langford top of the screen. Byrne gets the handoff up middle. Picks up a few yards. It's going to set up a second eight. Ball spotted down around the 40 and a half yard line. Clock's running down. We got eight minutes left in the game. They're down by 14 points. Down 14 points. They do have three timeouts left. There's a lot of, a lot of football left. Go back, drop back to pass. Hits his man. He's got a lot of open field in front of him. Tom Carroll on the reception. Another first down on the on the pass play. 7.39 left, fourth quarter. That was a nice little 13-yard pickup. Assumption's driving, moving the ball pretty effectively with the pass game. And this is what Assumption has to do to get back in the game. Assumption with three timeouts and 7.30 left. To like to get a touchdown here pretty quick, so they'll have to go with an onside kick, maybe put their defense on the field. Langford motion, Dolbeck rolls. Went for his man, JT Vonderhaar. Now it falls incomplete, 7.15 left in the fourth. Now I think Assumption realizes right now that they're going to have to go to their passing game if they want to get back in this game. There's still a lot of football left. A lot of football left. They get a touchdown, tighten the score up. I think I'd like to see a screen pass to number one, see how far he could go. Try to get a little play to Ryan Byrne. Eye formation from the Knights. Dolbeck rolls, fakes handoff. Oh! Travis Anderson was there. Uh, Blondell was there. Number 27 was there. That pass is just a little bit high for tight end Joe Daniel. Daniel was the recipient of the 31 yard touchdown pass from Dobek in the first half. 7.09 left in the fourth. Third and 10, third and real long for Assumption. Probably four down territory now. Getting deep into the ball game. Assumption breaks the huddle. Doback again drops back to pass. Looking for Langford over his head. Incomplete pass. Doback pass incomplete intended for Ryan Langford. And then the closest receiver there was Alex Rankin. And he's on the defensive side. This is going to be fourth and ten. You got to go for it. Two touchdowns down. Seven minutes to go. You're, you're going for it. On well, with the play is Tom Carroll. Sumption breaks the huddle. Critical fourth and ten. Sumption driving. Doback rolls. Met at the line of scrimmage. He got met the line of scrimmage by Adam Murphy. And with 6.56 left in the fourth quarter play, turnover on downs. 
Boy, that assumption really needed that. I think Dolbeck saw a little bit of greenery in front of him. Got you know, the elements, as the season goes on, it's colder, it's windy. Tonight we've had a little rain. You know, I, I give credit to all the kids who give up the time to play this game and, and, and want to play for their schools, represent their, their cities. Huber on the pitch. Picks up about eight, nine yards on that one, that first down play. Why don't we name the coaches? Who, who's the coach of Assumptions? Assumptions coached by Wade King, Mark Kazmerick, Mark Gasson, Ben Sacco, Brian Vitrubek, and uh, Mike Schlickring. I can't believe I just got that right. Mike Schlickring, uh, the assistants for Damport Assumption. Wade King also pulling double duties athletic director for Assumption. Well, nice defensive play by number one. That was Ryan Byrne on the defensive yeah. stop. That was a great defensive play. Loss of a few yards. Loss of six, bring up third and seven. Now the coaches for the North Sky Lancers, Kevin Tippett, Steve Moore, Kent Dennison, Tim Brunken, Dale Reed, uh, Matt Hoffmiller, Dale Tufty, Brandon Bowman, Ron Huber, and the trainer is Tim Block. Yeah, North Scott comes out pistol formation. Murfield motion. Monty hands off to Huber. Picks up a couple, 525 left, fourth quarter. It looks like we might have a timeout from Coach Wade King. Timeout assumption. Austin Miller on the punt for North Scott. 525 left in the fourth quarter play. Wind behind his back. Kind of shanks that one. Ball's going to bounce out around the 42 yard line. That's where Wade King and his Assumption Knights will start the, start the drive down a couple scores. Well, Assumption's going to have to do just what they did the last drive. They're going to have to throw. They don't, they don't have much time left. Even down a couple scores. I'm just seeing crazier things. You know, the score might be 27 to 13, but this has been a very entertaining game. Dolbeck drives right pass. Screenplay to Burn. Breaks a tackle. Moves real close to a first down. Well, isn't that the play I asked to see, see before? Screen pass to number one. Real close to an assumption first down. Brings out the chain gang. Wade King asking for a measurement. Makes the chain gang run all the way across the field. They just love that. Pulls it tight. That's going to be a first down for Assumption. 4.56 left in the fourth. Assumption pulls into North Scott territory. Try to get a score and an onside kick. Down a couple touches. Oh, you were reading my mind. You were reading my mind. I was thinking, if you score, you have to do an onside kick. High formation, dope back, drops back to pass. Nobody open, except for Ryan Langford. Picks up another assumption, first down. Ryan Langford on the reception for the Knights. Rain is starting to pick up. And it is still raining. And he's able to get the passes off. Shotgun for Mason, Dobek back to pass. Looks for Carroll, that one's caught. 
Alex move. Rankin on the tackle. Taken down by Alex Rankin. Clock running, 4.30 left in the fourth. Assumption goes with a little no huddle offense. Nobody gets to the Carroll. That one's caught, but a little short of the first down. Clock's running, 4.10 left in the fourth. Sets up a third and one. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Excuse me, that one went to Jordan Youngerman. Ball bounced off Dobick. Youngerman picked it up and picks up another first down for Assumption. What could have been a disaster, he turned into his plus yardage. Moves the ball all the way down to the North Scott 22 yard line. Nice little five yard pickup. I think they got a little help from God on that one. Pass. No back rolls. Gets rid of it. Ball's a complete pass intended for Ryan Byrne. 350 to go in the game. Second 10 for the Knights. Sumption still has a few timeouts left. A lot of time left in the fourth quarter. Another exciting MAC matchup. Daniels in motion. Dolbeck drives back to pass. Just a little bit ahead of Daniels. Lieutenant for number 85, Joe Daniel. The six foot five, 235 pound senior tight end from Assumption. This has been one of the most exciting games we've had this year, I think. Mm. I mean, even though the score is what it is, it's still an exciting game because this, this won't be over till the fat lady sings. It ain't over till it's over, Jess. That's all I know. 3.44 left. Big emotion against the Knights. Loss of five. Wow. What was the penalty? <clears throat> Legal motion. Legal motion. Okay. Knights come out in a shotgun. Second 15. Dobek rolls, might take off, picks up about seven and yards. The and the ref goes down, but he's okay. He pops right up. Three thirty-six left. Dobek gets out. Going to set up about a third and eight for Assumption. Ball spotted right at the twenty-yard line. Referee trying to keep the ball dry. Rain is definitely picking up. Four wide receivers on the bottom side of the screen. Goes to the end zone. Incomplete. That pass. That pass is intended for Ryan Langford. Fourth and seven. Right on the money, just incomplete. He threw in a couple defenders. And with 320 left, another fourth down play for Assumption. Another big fourth down play, fourth and seven. Big fourth down play here. This could be the game right here. Crowd's making some noise. North Scott student section making a lot of noise over there. Dobek rolls around. Gets rid of Ryan Burns, wide open, and drops the pass. Oh. That pass is 10 for Ryan Byrne. Oh, that was. I 
heard a collective awe from the assumption side. Any momentum? Any momentum the assumption had on that drive was lost on that incomplete pass. 3:22 left fourth quarter. Still down two scores. That just ripped the heart out of all the assumption fans. But this is high school ball, folks. Things like that will happen. Dive play to Hewer. Fumbles oh, wide loose. Off the line. Oh, well, his own fumble. I think they're saying North Scott still has it. Just like you said, it's high school football. Guy, guy in the next play fumbles it, and North Scott does fall on it, but keeps the ball on their, their possession, trying to take some time off the clock. Two fifty left, fourth quarter. North Scott with a second and three. Their own twenty-seven yard line. Pitches out to Huber. Gets real close to another North Scott first down. And North Scott picks up their twenty-third first down of the football game. Oh, well, there's somebody I need to, we need to thank here. It's uh, the, the athletic director at Assumption, Wade King. Uh, he's also the, he's also the football coach, and we'd like to thank him for allowing us to do this game. Without the uh, cooperation of the athletic directors, this these games would not be happening. You were on the dive play. Picks up a few. Timeout assumption. Time out, nice. on the pitch to Huber. Huber the ball carrier. Picks up a few, gonna be another assumption timeout. Langford on the stop. So we think Jess, we finally got the website started up this week. Nice. Yeah. If you Want to check out the standings, some of the links we have, and we hope to be adding a lot more things to, to our website. You can go to www.ftpsports.com. And uh, once we get it finished, I think you're really going to enjoy it. We want some feedback from the fans. We hope to get that up pretty soon. But right now, we have, we'll have standings and scores and uh, a lot of really nice sports links that, that you can get some information about your favorite teams. So check us out, www.ftpsports.com. Back to action, Monty. Again, 156 left in the fourth. Draws the assumption defense offside. It's going to be another North Scott first down. Yeah, we're seven weeks into the season. We got a lot of memorable clips from the 2009 campaign. Also, have DVDs for sale and available for friends and family that are interested in purchasing a game tape of any of the football games that we've been uh, fortunate to cover this year. Seen a lot of high, a lot of exciting high school football action. And those. That list of games should be up in the next couple days. A lot of North Scott games, Assumption games, all the Davenport Community Schools. A lot of exciting football we've been able to bring to you this season. You were the ball carrier. On the we don't just do MAC games, we also do Western Big Six games on the Illinois side of the the river. Well, we just don't do football. We're, we're looking forward to do a lot of basketball. Do a lot of basketball, gonna do a lot of baseball, softball. We're gonna do it all. Get in maybe some wrestling, band competitions. They're always interested in seeing the band competitions. Likes to get a lot of feedback. Anyone who's interested in having us show up to their events, we are more than interested to bring you those cherished memories. Monty on the handoff to Huber. Dive put the middle, picks up about four yards. Well, it's pretty obvious that North Scott is gonna win this game. 
Okay, time for our most valuable player of the game. Who, who, who do you think? I think without a doubt, you got to go with Aaron Huber. Picked up two touchdowns in the third quarter and scored one touchdown in the first half to give him a total of three touchdowns for I North agree. Scott. I agree. Aaron Huber's been the man tonight. Hey, Monty moves the ball well. Moves the ball pretty well on the offensive side with the pass game, but every time they need a big play, Aaron Huber's there with a big rush. Huber there just protecting the ball. 30 seconds left in the ball game. And we got a timeout? Well, I think it's an injury timeout. Assumption's out of timeouts. I'm Brian Medina, that's Jess Medina, owner of FTP Sports, doing camera and announcing double duties. Now number 65 is coming out. Number 74 is going in for Assumption. Yeah, it feels Tyler Swope. Got another exciting matchup tomorrow night with uh, Bettendorf and Central here back at Brady Street Stadium again. That should be a great game. Two high octane offenses and it'll be in a Friday night matchup in the MAC Conference. This, that's the new central. The new central, yeah. Monty drops back to pass. Keeps it himself. And at the end of this one, Monty picks up the 25th first down for North Scott. He picks up a very emotional win, 27 to 13, over the Assumption Knights on homecoming night. Both teams... Both teams move to four and three. Assumption falls to four and three. North Scott moves to four and three. That helps. That helps North Scott in the uh, playoff picture. They definitely needed this win. Not, not in the sense that they might not have been in the playoffs, but it helps them in their position. Every week, to help you position yourself to get in the playoffs. Either improve your record and get a better record in the playoffs, or qualify for the playoffs for that fact. But Assumption is a tough team, and uh, and they'll bounce back. Uh, they got they got some outstanding players. Uh, I know they have some great coaches. Uh, it just wasn't their night tonight. No, it wasn't their night. I know that uh, all the Mac schools just play against each other in the regular season, but I think that most teams across the state are going to be trying to steer clear of all the Mac teams in this conference. There's a lot of a lot of solid teams going to be in the playoffs from the Mac. So, well, we're going to call it a night. Once again, this is Jess Medina with Brian Medina. And the final score, North Scott, 27. Davenport Assumption, 13. This is Family Ties Production from Brady Street Stadium.